So you might remember when a nine-year-old from a small northern Colorado town made headlines across the United States. He helped overturn a century-old ban on throwing snowballs last December. Well, he made it his mission to legalize his favorite winter activity, and now his story of perseverance is making its way to local bookshelves. Our Dylan Thomas is live with us, and Dylan Dane's story will soon be sold in paperback, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Britt, it definitely is. Last year, I met with Dane Best in his house just hours before he went to town council and convinced them to legalize throwing snowballs. Ever since then, he's had a lot of TV producers, movie producers, and one specific author who reached out to him. This winter was the first time in more than 100 years that kids in the town of Severance could legally have snowball fights, all thanks to Dane Best. What have the last few months been like? Crazy. Last time we visited Dane, he convinced town council to overturn the outdated law which banned snowball throwing. After it made local and national headlines, an author called Dane's mom, Brooke. Yeah, I found out about his story pretty much the same way everybody else did. I mean, it was all over the world. After consulting the family, best-selling author Richie Freeman drew up Snowballs for Severance, a book he hopes will encourage other kids. Other kids look, could look up to Dane and say, okay, wow, this is somebody that really did something really impressive, and I think I could do this too. It's a really cool book. Depicted in his iconic bow tie, Dane said he's looking forward to the book's release next week. I don't know anyone who's gotten a, like a book written specifically about them. While his classmates eagerly await the publishing. They're going to be pretty excited, I think, because a lot of them like to read a lot. Dane says he already has his first book signing, well, booked. Our librarian in our school, she, she wants me to sign the book. With the turn of each page, Dane hopes his story will send one message to the children who read it. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can change the, a lot. You can have a voice in your town. So what's next for Dane, you may ask? Well, producers from several TV and movie agencies reached out to the family hoping to share the story, and they selected one who hopes to have his story on the big screen in the theaters by this Christmas. As for other weird laws, the family currently owns an illegal guinea pig. The town of Severin says it's illegal to have anything other than cats and dogs. Dane says he'll let his little brother tackle that one. Live in Northern Colorado, <laughs> Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Thank you, Dylan, from snowballs to guinea pigs. It never stops. I hope he told those producers, my people will call your people. Oh, he's going to yeah. be autographing a lot of things. Yes. All